Yo, testing, testing. Okay, it's using my phone mic, which is fine. Uh, wait a minute. Get my headphones here, though. I don't think it's using my headphones. That's fine. Uh, long day, tired. Gonna go to sleep. Gonna wake up. Gonna go train. I'm just gonna go back to boxing. This week, I'm gonna... I want to go back to boxing. Uh, but I don't. I want to hit the gym normally first. Just hit the bag and see what it's like. My wrist is healed or not. But yeah, this video topic is a very very simple video topic. How to gain respect as a man, a young man. It could be respect, command, presence, whatever you say. How to gain respect, command, presence, and become an alpha male as a young man. And I think. Within my accolades so far, even though they aren't anything substantial in my opinion, I have commanded the respect of few, and I genuinely believe that it doesn't take too much to like you know command respect. The baseline is quite low, but it does take being better than your peers to command respect. In in a very very simple way, for example, unboxing. You want to command respect as a boxer? Well, you just gonna get get it. Train hard as you can. Train as hard as you can. Analyze every single thing that you do. Get in the ring. Spar, fight, 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 fight. And then, before you know it, you have respect. Like, if you have bad performances, you don't have any respect. If you have good performances, you have respect. You know what I'm saying? If you're if you're ruthless, you're analytical, you're constantly trying to get better. You're like Goku up in that bitch. You enjoy fighting. You, in, you enjoy the process of getting better. You enjoy the... The admiration of the, of people around you. And I remember a, a good sparring session. Where I was just beating on my opponent, <laughs> just beating on my opponent, and not in a rude way. It's just like I don't know. It, it it was fucking pretty disrespectful. I was fucking beating on his ass. It was my, he's much older than me as well. But here's the thing. I I I just I wasn't I wasn't I was so in the zone while I was being on him. I didn't I didn't think about yeah I need to I need to fucking. Yeah, uh, yeah, I need to like come on the respect of other men. I know I was focused on my craft. I was focused on being better than this singular man at a single moment. So, what happened then? I just I beat him up, okay. And then I'm, I'm looking for like, and then people, other people respected me. And then I, I walked out of that ring. I was like, fuck! I just I just I just went crazy. Watched back the recording. Oh my god! I just went crazy. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's just like you. You will get respect if you are a person worth respecting. You will command respect and command presence. Command presence is a different thing, I believe. But the respect thing, like the respect, like you want this, this, this is something so intangible. Like, if you're, you're watching this type of video, like wanting, uh, like an exact method of how to get respect, like th here's a simple answer: work harder, be better than your peers. You know, show your best self every single time. Communicate. Done. What do you want? Like a fucking top ten things you can do to command respect from your your crush. Number one, do push ups right in front of her. Ten push ups at her feet. Maybe kissing her feet as well. Number two, jumping jacks, especially during dinner. Just stand up doing jumping jacks, right? Like, you don't like what are you? What are you looking for? Looking for an arbitrary answer to a, like a vague arbitrary question? How do I command respect? Yeah, you you're looking in the wrong places. How can I be better? That's a that's the question that you should be looking towards. Because when you are better, respect automatically comes. It it, it very easily automatically comes. You'd be surprised. Like, it is just, it is, it is like weird to me how young men, oh, fuck you. Young men would desire so badly the respect and admiration of others when it, like, it means nothing. It isn't going to affect your, your bank balance. It isn't going to make you richer. It isn't going to make you, I mean, it is going to make you happy in the moment, no doubt. But it isn't going to make you more fulfilled. You can't just live off and get, and get fulfillment off. The respect and admiration of others. No, that's for more personal things like, you know, kids and family and money and 
that 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 type of thing. The commanding presence thing as well. So I, I pretty I pretty much summarized the respect. I was talking about commanding presence. It's very very simple. To command a good strong presence is, is incredibly simple, but it's difficult. It's easy to understand, but difficult to execute. It's one of them ones, and to command presence, you pretty much just need to work hard, train hard, get a good physique, have good communication skills, keep good eye contact, have good social skills, and before you know it, people fucking respect you. You know, a lot of people these days, they, they can't even keep eye contact. A lot of geeks that are my friends, not my friends that are geeks, they struggle to make eye contact. They struggle to keep eye contact. And what happens as a result? They they fucking suffer. <laughs> they suffer hard. Pause. I, I, every single time I say hard, I have to say pause. Right, the modern world has destroyed my any semblance of innocence that's happened in my heart. Like Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't say that. Man. Yeah, well, I don't care. <laughs> Funny, I can't lie. Oh, my side body hurts. Oh, like, if you have a physique, like you got, you got a big arm, you train your shoulder muscles, for example. Like, here, here's something I can tell you: you have to train your shoulder muscles, which is like your traps, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, you know, abs, everything else. Like, it just comes in between. Maybe you can get the Dorito shape as well. It's not too hard to get. I think this is why I'm a big proponent of calisthenics because. Kind of tactics you can train more often, more sets, more reps, more to endurance, and you get that very chiseled. I don't know if you guys know Ian Bars Eagle, that that crazy kind of tactics guy who's like super jacked. Like you can get an ultra jacked physique, and be completely natural, and like master your body weight with functional strength, which is far better than you know absolute strength. Absolute strength sounds cooler, and it might look cooler, but like. You'll get a pump in the gym, and you'll think you look like that pump 24-7. It creates an illusion. This is why I don't like weights. Like, I only started doing weights recently, and I haven't been in gym in like two weeks. I just do calisthenics at home. But I probably should go back to the gym, because there's calisthenics machines. There's the dips, the dip bars. I don't have any dip bars at home, which is quite annoying. If I do, ha if, if I can find like a good deal on Facebook Marketplace or some shit, or a good deal online, I'll probably buy dip bars myself for like, I don't know, £10, £15, if I find a good deal. But yeah, apart like apart from that, like you got you get dips, bro. You, like you get dip bar, you get you get like a pull up bar, you get like maybe like small you know small I don't know what they call thing handles small handles on the floor for like um, assisted not assisted put not, it's not assisted push up who does that? Uh, what's it called again? What what on earth is it called again? If you do push ups on your knees, you're weird, bro. Like, I, I start doing push-ups, like, normally, like, with no knees, like, why would you go, like, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't target the muscle enough, it doesn't make you, like, even, bro, 20 push-ups on your knees is worth, like, 5 normal push-ups, like, it's just, it isn't effective, and that's, that's a, that's a, another thing, yeah, just train your shoulder muscles, train at home, do calisthenics, and before you know it, Get a form-fitting clothes, and before you know it, you command a presence because your your physique is that of an outlier. You know the average gym bro, he's pretty buff. You know he's 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 muscular, he's in shape, he's got big forearm, big arms, and everything. But he's the average gym bro. You put the average gym bro with the average man. Okay, that's a whole different paradigm. Like he he's like night and he's like a Greek god in front of these in these peons. You know what I'm saying? Like put put average gym bro around. All these, all these thing, all these average, average folk, like he's just in better shape. He's taller, probably because of HGH production, natural HGH production in your body. Maybe he's gaining an inch or two. Like if he's a like, young teenager going to the gym, uh, or he's doing calisthenics, even better. Calisthenics is on top. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, but when you talk with the muscle group, it's so such gay. I mean, not gay. That's an insult to gays. Cause there's some, yo, I'm, I was gonna say there's some handsome gay men out there. Pause. No. Oh my God, hell no, bro. 
I'm in, I'm in a buff game. Oh, bro, I can't say buff gay men without it being. Oh. Anyways. Oh, bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm watching way too much Jinxie these days. I low key want to play Rainbow Six Siege, but I'm not willing to invest the time to come good at that game. I literally can't be asked. I'm not him, brother. Anyways, I. Man. I was talking about. Can I say the average gym role with the you know average population? Like he he commands a presence because he is better than everyone else, or better than his peers. He's not be- he's not the best in the world, by no means. He's not the strongest in the world, by no means. You know he might be able to lift like a hundred kilograms. You know maybe two hundred kilograms deadlift, hundred kilograms or two twenty five deadlift, four hundred pounds. Uh, you know no four hundred pounds is quite impressive deadlift. I would say 315, 315 for deadlift, uh, 313 pounds, 225 bench, you know, like the average gym bro, well actually that isn't the average gym bro, you, you know, average gym goer, but if you're a gym bro, you, you'll be able to reach 100 kg very soon, or 225 very soon, I feel like, I, bro, I was kind of like fat, and kind of out of shape, I, I repped 80 kilograms, like so I, and recently, I tried it again. No, it wasn't recent at all. I should try it next time, actually. You know, fuck that shit, bro. I'm just going to try it next time. I'll copy you guys the results. See if I can do 100 kilograms. But, like, let's see how he does, like, 100 kilograms, one rep max, or, you know, four reps. Which is quite impressive as well. But, like, it isn't the best. It's not 415. It's not 500 pounds. But is it better than his peers? Yes. Is it better than everyone else? Yes. So that's not a good. That's good enough. So like it's, you know what I'm saying, guys. It's good enough. Straight up. Ooh. That's it. Come on, respect. Get respect. Come on, presence. What else was it? Get your crush. Talk to her. Boom. You know, the the way that works the best. Always is the simplest way. You know, sometimes less is more. However, it is extraordinarily difficult, no doubt, to my mind. Exercising isn't necessarily difficult. I think it's one of the easiest ways. You don't need to just work out an hour, two hours a day, three hours if you're feeling saucy. You rest and recover, sleep well, eat well. You know, focus on your overall well-being and your health outside the gym as well. Your nutrition. Uh, what that type of stuff, etc., etc. I don't even count calories. I don't I pretty much have a four pack. I don't care. Like I, my output's high enough. So like, most people, you know, don't they don't pay attention to this shit, <laughs> and they live shit lives as a result. It's it's surprising, but it's the truth. I kind of forget. Like it's, I really do kind of forget. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> now, for example, I don't know what my original point was before. I don't know. I don't really record, man. Fuck, freak, dude. So I'm done. And then I talk about general populace, and then I talk about Greek God and being better than your peers, and then my mind goes blank, honestly. Like, and then what happened? I talk about you know being calisthenics, and that's before actually. Mother fluffer, dude. Come on, respect. Talk to your crush. Yeah, this the way that. Oh my god, my brain just unlocked the memory. Like holy shit, my brain just shut off. I don't know why that happens. Uh, when you, oh my god, my brain. Yo, can you fucking? Is my? Do I need to update my RAM drivers or some shit? What the fuck? Like my my internal RAM drivers. <laughs> Is it boxing brain damage? I don't I don't particularly understand. It's very, very difficult, man. It's very, very difficult. It's just even talk I'm fucking annoyed. Oh my. Oh very tired. Oh we Where was I? Talking to your crush. So it's always incredibly simple, but Difficult fitness is easy because you can just work out a few hours a day every single day and focus on like the basic sh- shit f- just consistently for a while. I would definitely say commanding respect is it's, it's relatively easy. It's like mid level easy. 
But then talking to your crush or talking to girls, even guys in a successful position, like it's much easier. Like in my opinion, and this might be controversial, but if you master the skill of just like, jump, like just walking up and saying hi to a girl that you're interested in, you are very you are setting yourself up to be a, in a very powerful position because, in my opinion. In my humble opinion, right guys, making a million dollars is far easier than just grabbing yourself by the balls and walking up to a girl and saying, hi, how are you? I think you look beautiful. Like some basic compliment like that. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's so much more like difficult to do that. Why? Because the emotions is like sparring, boxing sparring, or like sparring in MMA or no, I don't know about rolling. I don't know. Because like, I know, I feel like. For me, I always I, when I can roll, I roll because I think rolling is safe um, in like jujitsu and wrestling, but and grappling. But it's same, it's different with boxing because you can just, you get brain damage. Like most of the damage you get from um, martial arts, sports stuff is during sparring and stuff, which is kind of annoying. So <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird and annoying. Um, I would definitely say like making a million dollars isn't as difficult because you could just sell a good product have a good e-commerce store, have a good marketing campaign. It will take a lot of work. It's kind of just monotonous. Work every single day, yada, 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 yada. But like, t- just the raw emotion just slaps you. And this is in my experience. I've jumped, I've walked up and talked to a lot of girls. That sounded really cocky and arrogant, but it's it's the truth. Okay, but my, my friend can verify, but yeah, you can take my word for it. Like, it is so much more difficult, in my opinion. Because when you're looking at a girl that's like hot, that like ticks all your boxes. Like I personally really like girls that are tomboyish, like that have short hair, and that kind of like you know, kind of not ugly per se. No, definitely not ugly, but like not entirely desirable by the the mass group, uh, group of men that have like they have like a like a little choke holder, not a choke holder, like necklace that like I don't know what it's called, like it just wraps around the neck and stuff. Like it, yeah, I find that cute as fuck. Like, bro, that gets me fucking, like, holy shit. I I stutter. I, I fumble. I'm like, oh, my God, what the fuck? But, like, I never... And, like, more, more truth, these girls are nice to me. Like, always. Even if they aren't interested, they're nice. Like, it's just... It's so... Social media has us, like, separated and dis- alienated from each other. And it's so fucking annoying. Like, it's so fucking annoying. Like, I just... Oh my god. I do want to make a million dollars though, obviously. And I do think once I do make that amount, and I, okay, let, let, let me reiterate this because I'm thinking like a kind of, kind of bitch here. I'll be honest with you. Oh, when I make a million dollars, I'll be free. I can just say hi to a girl whenever I want to. No, I probably won't. It's better just to develop the skill now so my future self will have that skill and a million dollars. Okay? Like, that's that's how it has to be. Yeah, I'm trying to search for anything else to say, but I'm pretty much done. I'm done. As I say, that's how you command respect. Uh, no, you get, you gain respect. You command a presence, and you talk to a crush. Yeah, there you go. I follow up, man. That's enough. Honestly, that's enough. There's no need to have any more. Mm. After that, it's pretty much just. Like, any other arbitrary goal that suits or, like, satisfies your desire, your deep-hearted desire in your, in your, in, in your dreams, in your aspirations. Like, Elon Musk, his deep-hearted desire, his dream, was to go to space. That's what his aspiration is, and he's fucking damn well near it. Going to Mars is a bit of a stretch, I think he'll be dead. Because he's 50 now. It's kind of sad to say, but this is the truth. Yeah, but that's that's pretty much it, really. I don't know what to say. When it comes to that type of stuff, just work, 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 work. Get money. Produce. Yay. I don't know what else to tell you guys. That's the simple truth. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Live mediocre, die mediocre. Stay safe. Bye.